marking the hours with Hamdan at the Perpetual Gallery in Dubai. Hamdan, welcome to the Hour Markers. Thank you very much. You're welcome uh, to our gallery. Thank you very much. Uh, to begin with, what is the Perpetual Gallery? Uh, Perpetual Gallery is basically a gallery that represents many of the uh, fine independent watchmakers and many of the independent uh, micro brands as well, uh, which we find uh, nice, appealing, and uh, um, basically attracted by many of the young watchmakers uh, around the world, not only in the Middle East. Yes. It's very interesting, but you've created, what inspired you to come up with this concept? Because it's a very welcoming lounge for watch lovers. Thank you very much. The, the objective is not only to, uh, to, to sell, but educate people in uh, what we can uh, provide uh, from a collaboration aspect um, but we, we, we also do all types uh, of uh, of collections from uh, from different brands we try to do a collaboration to just reflect our thoughts ideas and designs uh, that the uh, our collectors in the Middle East would like mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately we get a lot of uh, good feedback uh, from the international uh, market as well and collectors from all over the world Excellent. And I think uh, I think we're there. I think many of many of the connectors like likes what we do, which is a very which is a challenge because it, it pushes us to do different things from time to time. Excellent. Yeah, you have some very interesting collaborations. In fact, we've had a chance to walk around. I saw a very interesting fracture by Fiona Kruger. It's right there. So tell us a little bit about the collaborations. This is the the fracture by um, Fiona Kruger. We we worked. On, on this project uh, for more for close to two years and we're doing only uh, seven uh, pieces uh, for the gallery um, in a titanium uh, salmon dial with the Eastern Arabic numerals that reflects a nice green with the uh, with the lights um, Fiona Kruger is an artist that's why you see like every artist on a on a painting or a sculpture you see her signature uh, down. Uh, in the corner of the dial. Um, we we're very happy, honestly, uh, to see the result, which is exceptional. Um, a lot of work has been put into this timepiece. Um, Carrie Vutilainen as well worked on it uh, closely. Uh, that's why the results today we see is, is, is really amazing. Even from a movement perspective, you see the finish. Uh, in the back. The colors are also the colors. Of, even the movement finishing is the colors of Perpetual. Indeed. True. Uh, we did a limited edition of seven pieces and uh, we, we, we did a limited edition of seven pieces and um, uh, hopefully um, we can cater uh, our clients. We, we did not reveal of the watch. Uh, we, we did share it with our uh, VIP clients who are or the clients who are regular in, in, uh, in Perpetual and uh, we sold most of the uh, collection. That's interesting. What's the other collaboration we had? The other collaboration is uh, from Singer Reimagined. Um, very appealing watch. It is one of their hot watches due to the size. This is a new casing, a new size. It's a 40 uh, millimeter uh, case diameter in um, stainless steel, um, full bracelet with a beautiful automatic movement that looks like manual, but the rotor is under the dial. We did it as well um, with the Perpetual col Colors, which is terracotta. And Marco added a beautiful shade of beige around it to give this vintage look uh, on the watch. Um, we did a limited edition of 10 pieces. We are launching uh, the watch uh, today. Today is the launch of, Interesting. of the watch. Um, we got an amazing feedback on the regular collection, which, which they released, which is the black piano mm -hmm. dial. Uh, very beautiful. And we were lucky that we got uh, to collaborate on that reference uh, for Perpetual on that special event. Amazing. Omdan, tell me, you clearly are a watch collector. Do you only collect uh, Perpetual collaboration watches or tell us a little bit about your collection? Uh, not at all. I, I like... Uh, Many of the watches that we represent here, uh, they are here because I like to collect them before being here. Um, like the Roger Smith, Crayon, Ocean, uh, uh, Fiona Kruger, Singer. But I do collect many brands which, which are not under Perpetual, which I fancy, I like. And 
باتريك فيليب سبيشالي ذا فينتج باتريك فيليب فاشون كونستانتين دوز ار سم اوف ذا براند ذات اي ريلي لايك كاريبوتي لاين لادوفيك بالوا there are many nice nice brands yes. out there i also noticed you have some very interesting vintage pateks uh, yes we do, from time to time we like to showcase some uh, uh, shaped watches uh, from certain uh, era right and uh, to educate people we have a lot of interest as well from uh, uh, many parts of the world and that's why we try to rotate and then change the collection of the uh, vintage patek that we showcase uh, in the corner of the gallery. Great. Lastly, Amdan, I've noticed that you have a mix of everything. You have the Patek Philippe also, but you also have, like you mentioned, Singer, Fiona Kruger, a lot of budding um, and existing independent brands. So what are your thoughts on independent watchmaking? Um, I mean, every watchmaker, you, you see, you, you just saw different watches from different independent watchmakers. And you can tell that every time piece reflects the taste of the watchmaker. How he, the techniques as well. Everyone works in a different technique. I'm sure there is a common technique where they should, where they all should follow. But uh, everyone does it in a, in a different way. Whether it was the dye, or it was the, sh- the finishing of the movement, or the case, uh, and uh, it tells you a lot about the watchmaker. Many of the watchmakers would allow you to collaborate to a certain limit, to not as well uh, change the full identity of. The watch or the, the brand, and we respect this. Um, so what's fascinating is basically every watchmaker has you can you can tell his uh, his taste, uh, um, his ways and techniques of making the watches. It's very interesting. Do you have any personal favorites this year? I mean, uh, that's a very. Uh, It's like asking you to select your favorite child, right? Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, they're all beautiful, they're all nice. I mean, the watch that I wear all the time is a crayon. And uh, I see the singer, honestly, I, I've been wearing it since the past three days uh, with the steel bracelet, especially, you know, with, with the adjustment they, they did today. Two centimeters that you can adjust yeah. easily on a steel bracelet. This is fascinating. This is really amazing, functional. Especially with the weather, humidity, yeah. the cold. I think this is the watch that I'll be wearing uh, very often. Perfect for the weather in Dubai and India. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Okay, super. Thank you so much, Amal. Thank you for having us here. You're most welcome. Thank you for joining us.